Come here. He want the scoop, she want the tea, she want the tea. I cannot speak. We keep it in street. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is T Cinderella, and before I go into this video. Let's stop here. You come and watch my video all the time and you don't subscribe. You might as well press that subscribe button and while you're at it, click that bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video and join the castle. You'll love it here. I wouldn't tell you no lie. I wouldn't tell you no lie. You would love it here. Trust me. So join the castle. Cut. Come and join the castle. 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 <laughs> All right, let's jump back into the video. As you can read from the, today's title, this is all about my coochie hygiene. I know this topic is very like touchy, 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 or sensitive, but we're gonna talk about it on this channel. Today, we are stopping the stink coochie movement. No stink coochies all 2023 and beyond. This is the day that it stops, okay? This is the day that the stink coochie pandemic ends. <laughs> Let's get into this video. Before I hop into this video, I just wanna say a disclaimer, I am not a doctor, I, would, I did not go to school for this, I did not do anything. So definitely talk to your doctor if you're having any issues, talk to your doctor if you have any concerns. Do not self-test. Go to your doctor and see what's up. Okay, so now that this disclaimer is out the window, let's get into the video. So what is the vagina and what, what what's the function of the vagina, first of all? Well, first and foremost, the vagina is an internal organ. So you don't really see the vagina. It's internal. The functions of the vagina is obviously, it's a passageway for the penis, passageway for babies. It's also a passageway for discharge. Really, when we look down there, like down in the, the, the coochie, we're not seeing the vagina really. We're seeing the vulva, which would be the coochie lips, basically. <laughs> So how do you wash the vagina? Well, you don't because it's an internal organ. Um, the vagina cleans itself through discharge. Um, and also we have a acidic pH. So therefore that helps us clean everything, all that bacteria, all that stuff. So you don't really clean the vagina. You're cleaning the vulva, the coochie lips. So I was online one day and <laughs> y'all would never believe this. I was online and this girl was like, when she showers, all she does is let the water trickle down as she's, you know, soaping her body, let the water trickle down, and that's enough. I know you lying. I know you are lying, because that is not enough. I disagree, it is not enough. And if you're doing that, stop right now. Stop, sis fun, stop. Because that is not enough, and that is how you get a stink coochie. And do you want a stink coochie? I don't think you want a stink coochie, so don't do that. Imagine it's a hot day. You just came from work, it's like, a hundred and something degrees outside and you just feel dirty. You hop in the shower and you only use water. Do you think you clean? Do you feel clean? And if you say yes, if you say yes, I should slap you. You do not feel clean. You don't feel clean. <laughs> you don't feel clean. No one could tell me that when they use water solely to clean their body, they feel clean. You need soap and water to clean yourself. The types of soap that I use is non-scented. So when I'm washing down there, I do not use any scented soaps, any fragrance, nothing like that. I use a non-scented soap. Usually I use the Glaze Vault Co. Big Kitty Energy Soap. And if I don't have that in hand, I just use any non-scented soap that I could find, like Dove. But even then, I still don't like Dove. I prefer using the Glaze Vault Co. Big Kitty Energy because it is 100% natural and I know exactly what goes into my soap bar. I'm gonna link the company down in the description bar as well as Instagram page. When I use it, I take my rag, I, a clean rag that I didn't use for my body. I take the soap bar, lather it up, get in all the crevices, my groin area, my thigh area, clean the coochie lips, all of that. Clean the top portion where your pubic hair would be. Clean that part. Make sure you really get in all the cracks and crevices. We're not sticking anything up our vagina. We're just cleaning around that space and then going in and obviously rinsing it off. Moving forward to my coochie routine. Everybody has their own coochie routine this is my coochie routine that i use for myself and it's work you could take some of the tips that i mentioned in this video
video and just add it to your own routine or you could use my routine. This routine is very simple. I do not like to complicate anything that involves down there. So depending on the day, I would use this product. This right here, this is from your European Wax Center. This is their face and body exfoliating gel. I don't use it for my face. I don't use it for my body. I only use it for down there specifically. This right here, if European do anything right, they did this right right here. So this is how it looks. It's like a gel. Let me sh let me show you the consistency. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the consistency. Before I go in the shower, and I don't do, I don't not use this every day. Do not use this every day. It's an exfoliant. You do not need to exfoliate every day. But on the days I do exfoliate, I take a dime size of this. Do not use a lot before the shower, and I just go over it where my pubic hairs are or work and it's supposed to exfoliate all the dead skin and what's cool about this is you literally see the dead skin coming off this thing works so then after that i go in the shower and then i clean with the blaze ball stuff that i mentioned previously once i get out the shower i, I go in with this this right here this is another gym from European Wax Center. I only go for these two products. This right here is a treatment. This is for ingrown hairs. Child, this thing is so good. It's so good. So basically, after I get out the shower and I, I pat dry myself, I take this. I do not take it every day. This is not an everyday thing. This is when you, you know, you need that extra little mm -mm. And a day after I wax, I use this. So this is how it looks. This is like a little cotton rod. And basically it's drenched in treatment that they, you know, made. And you just like wipe around the top of your coochie. And that is supposed to help with ingrown hairs and to stop the growth of ingrown hairs. This this product right here is a holy grail. And I need you guys to run, not walk, to your nearest European wax center and ask for the exfoliating gel and the treatment um, rounds. So that is literally it for my coochie routine. I don't use Tree Hut. I don't use anything like that because that is, Tree Hut, if you're using Tree Hut, stop using Tree Hut because it's literally not doing anything but clogging your pores. It is literally doing the opposite of what you want it to do. Hair removal is essential in my opinion. I know people think it's optional and hey, to each his own. But for me, hair removal is essential. It's required. Imagine you just got off a period and the access period is get stuck on the hair, discharge, a lot of stuff can get just tucked in all in that hair. So hair removal for me literally makes me feel much more cleaner and I'm able to breathe. So what are my forms of hair removal? If you're using razors, toss it out now. Don't put another razor down there. Razors literally cause ingrown hairs. You get cut from a razor, razor bumps, just a whole lot of whole lot of it. So my form of hair removal is waxing. I know a lot of people do not like the pain for waxing, but honestly, I do not have a high pain tolerance either. But trust me, the more you get the wax, the easier it gets. If you are not into waxing, if you just like, no, I, I just cannot, then Nair. Um, I feel like Nair is another alternative. It's very fast, the hair comes off and you're, and you're left with smooth skin. I know people also look into permanent hair removal and I'm looking into it right now. If I do decide to get permanent hair removal, then I will definitely take you guys along the way and give you guys all the tea. So moving on to products I absolutely love. I already talked about the two products from European Wax Center for my shower routine. Those are great, but this is another product that I love. This is the Vaginal pH Strips. I feel like every woman should have this in her bathroom. So basically, it comes like this. You can find it in the, on Amazon. I will link this in my description box. So it looks like this. And basically, it comes in two little pouches. You open the pouch, and inside the pouch has the uh, pH strip. My nails are literally too long. Speaking of nails, I'm going to link my nail tech if you're in Orlando because she is fire. Okay. But anyways, this is how it looks. So this is where you would put your little swab. So you take a cotton swab, whatever, and you just swab the inside of your cooter. And then you place it on here. Make sure your hands are clean before you place it. And then it will automatically show you a color. So you just match the color on the bottle and you can indicate where you are. This is a great indicator if you have something going on and you need to go see, you know, your doctor. Another product that I literally love are toilet wipes. 
I feel like every woman should have wipes in their bathroom. It just helps for that extra clean for me. After I go in and I, you know, wipe myself with a dry wipe, I go in with the wet wipe. And just make sure all of that extra stuff is gone. It just gives me like an extra cleaning force, you know? So I definitely recommend non-scented wet wipes. Do not be using no wet wipes that's that smell like lavender. Another product, well, this is not really a product. It's more like an app. But if you're not you if you're not familiar with the Flow app, Sis, where have you been? So this is my Flow app, and as you could see, it literally tells me everything. Oh, look, it's a countdown. I've been with Flow for five five years. When I tell you I live by the Flow app, I literally live by the Flow app. So basically, it tells you when your period is supposed to is projected to come. And spot on for me, um, mainly because like I've been logging symptoms, I've been logging my period, been logging ovulation. So the more you log, the better it can. The app can predict period. It can predict ovulation the more you you log your symptoms so as you can see it's um three days until my period going in i feel calm everything is fine this is all the little options that helps you log how you're feeling log any symptoms if if you are bloated anything of that sort it also let's say i had my period i could log my period and my period dates and when you log your period dates it also shows you are you bleeding heavy normal this app is a great app to have if you're a woman but I really, really stand by Flow because it has such great gadgets. It predicted my period was supposed to come. It came that day or the next day. Moving on to products that I do not like. I already mentioned Tree Hut as a product that I didn't like. Now, before I show this, I know a lot of people will be upset because a lot of people live by this. But suppositories as you can see i have them i've used it before and i can tell you i don't like both of these two products will be going to the trash because they were horrible and my experience could be different from your experience however i just feel like before you use any products to put inside your cooter your coochie your poom poom your bobo your whatever ask your doctor now this one the killer it has boric acid and i know like a lot of people like love boric acid but boric acid also kills it kills everything as well as good bacteria i just don't think we should be buying suppositories without a doctor's approval just check with your doctor before you self-check and then when i found out that suppositories are not fda approved that was a major red flag if you don't get anything from this video go to the doctor they are here for a reason they're here for you i'll be going to the doctor like they're my best friends <laughs> honestly and you should also be very honest with your doctor make sure your vaginal health is up to par make sure you are getting your paps and don't let nobody throw off your ph balance that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna cut it right there <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope this video was very informative i hope you go and check out all the products that i mentioned in this video i'm telling you guys those products are amazing thank you so much for watching my video and come back for the next video bye guys she want the tea. She want the tea. I cannot speak. We keep it in street. We keep it in street. Stay coochies in today. We are not going into no more years with stay coochies. No more stay coochies.